but I've suddenly noticed after being in this hobby for <laughs> a few years now, nothing I own I planned on buying. Uh, this was unplanned, the 891, it just came up and I thought, okay, that's too cheap to turn down. And I'm just trying to think of other things I've bought that I didn't set out to buy, but they were offered to me at such a good price, I couldn't say no. <laughs> I wonder what you own that you didn't plan on buying, but you couldn't say no. I think that's the way it goes in this hobby. I never looked at it. <laughs> There's the dipstick. <laughs> We're gonna fit a Yesu 891. Okay, so. We have the radio, and for those that don't know, this is a Yesu 891 HF radio. What you do is on the side here, is you pull this clip, and then you slide that one way and it comes apart and what you have here is it's like an old phone plug and you can unplug both of those both ends and take that out so now you have a head unit that you put on your dashboard that you can obviously take out when you're not in the car and the main base unit will go wherever you want to put it okay before i do this i'm just going to get a cup of coffee and i'm going to tell you why Station Master, if you're not on Station Master, check it out. There'll be a link below. So Station Masters, I built this. I do all the coding, everything. It's like social media for, for ham radio. You can see what frequency people are on, real time, who's doing what, active pileups. Uh, every contact that's logged pops up on the right-hand side. Loads of people on there. A few people you might recognize. Jonathan M0, JSX, Rowley, Down Under. We've got States on there, Ireland, UK, France, and what's that, Sweden, isn't it? Uh, Sugar Brother 7 Sugar, that's George. All over the place. It's a growing community. There's, you know, there's a few thousand people registered on the system now. So, yeah, come and come on board. Anywho, I'm getting one of these soon, FT101E, uh, M0 MSN, Mike has kindly decided to give me one. <laughs> so thanks Mike, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, Gary, G7REs, in fact I think I saw him up here. Where are you? Can't find you at the moment mate, but G7REs, Gary on the Isle of Wight. He's uh, giving me a 101ZD. Now the D means digital, so it's got a digital display on the front as well. So that'll be interesting. It's a slightly different style. I think the innards are pretty much the same. Yeah, it might be a few revisions, uh, but essentially it's the same radio. It's just a newer, newer version on the outside. So all it is, you've got longer cables and it means you can put the head unit anywhere, bolt it to this, and then stick that or bolt it onto your dashboard. Okay, I've just found the perfect screw. The pleasure would be all mine, mate. You won't be disappointed. One random screw, self-tapping, <laughs> short, stubby screw in a box. I've been hunting around for about 15 minutes. Right, so it's not perfect because the wire jumps across there, but just tested. And my foot never goes anywhere near it, so it's not going to get worn. Jumps across to the seal. Might need to do something there, but whatever. Not worried about that. It's only a rough job. Next job. Power. To be honest, I'll probably end up just running it on the battery. Um, you know, when you're driving, you're mostly listening, aren't you? So it's only going to be pulling an amp or whatever. 
So yeah, you're gonna be able to do a good few hours round trip just running off a battery, which is gonna get less noise. Anyway, we're getting there. Right, I've popped the lid. Baby little battery compared to the truck anyway. Uh, 35 amp hour. Pretty sure the trucks was much bigger than that. Probably twice the size. So yeah, you won't want to park up and run off that, risk running it down. See, that's the injectors. This is where we're getting the noise. So maybe some ferrites on here might help. Who knows? You can but try. Anyway, I bought this off my brother. I never looked at it. <laughs> There's the dipstick. <laughs> so I'm assuming the rest of it's stuck in the engine somewhere. I've no idea where the dipstick is. In fact, I've just found it. There it is, there. So you can't, okay, so it is sealed up. Just don't push it too hard. Okay, so where are we? We've got the head unit in. That's where I want it. We've run the control lead down under the seat. Control, uh, control unit is just under the seat. It's not bolted down or anything at the moment. It will be by the time I've finished. Um, coax comes in off the roof. There's a little stubby coax uh, connector there for whatever antenna I want to use. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a battery, lithium battery. I'm not going to bother wiring it in. I'm already getting lots of noise off the engine anyway. And I think using power from the car is just going to make things worse. Okay, so the ATAS is on. Although I wasn't planning on using that. Right, so the plan was Mat 40 tuner, and I don't know why it looks that colour. Very odd. It's normally black. <laughs> I don't know what's up there. Uh, anyway, Mat 40 tuner, which is a random wire tuner. Plan was to bolt that in the back of the car and then have a short stub going up to the antenna mount and then have something like a nine foot whip. That would then tune up on all the bands that I care about and it would probably be just as good as an ATAS, if not better. So, I'm not gonna do that today because I don't have the, the connectors that I need to make it. So we're gonna skip that for, for another project, for another day. We'll stick with the ATAS. Cut some corners. Okay, we're on the LiPo battery. Everything's plugged in. The only thing we don't have is an extension speaker. So all I can hear is the audio coming from the radio under the seat. So that's a bit quiet. So we're on the ATAS. So if we press the tune button. Actually, we'll go to, let's go to 40 meters. And then hit the tune button. We'll hold it in. Actually, just tapped it. So when we do that, it's doing nothing. So what should happen is that should go right down. Actually, no, for 40 meters, it's gonna go up, isn't it? It's gonna go longer. So this is what I don't like about the ATAS, is it just takes forever to figure out what's going on. So it's obviously in the wrong position. It knows it's a high SWR but the radio doesn't know if the antenna is long or short. At some point it will think, oh, whatever it's trying to do isn't working and it'll do the opposite thing. So hopefully, if we just keep watching, it will suddenly start 
trying to push it the opposite way to what it is. So that's been well over a minute now. Right, so it's stopped. Let's press tune again. Right, let's try and key up, see what happens. Hola, hola. Yeah. <laughs> it's not happy, is it? Welcome to the world of an ATAS. He did say to me, he said, if it's not going up and down properly, it's probably an earthing problem on the ATAS. You want to run a, an earth wire from the base of the antenna to the body. However, this has worked. When I've tested this before, this has worked fine. Let's turn it off and on again. All right. So the ATAS is not moving. Right, we'll turn it off, give it a rest for 10 minutes. I'll unplug the battery, come back and try again. Okay, I think I figured it out. I think the uh, the ATAS wouldn't charge, sorry, wouldn't move because this wasn't charged. But having said that, I've only plugged it in five minutes ago and it's already green, so it looks like it was charged. Okay, back to the drawing board. This is my daily steak. I've been eating a steak a day. And I've lost a stone in the last month, so uh, happy days. Hopefully that will continue. So anyway, yeah, it's tea time now, but I've spent the day putting an ATAS, well, not an ATAS, I've, been, I've spent the day putting an 891 in the car with the hands, uh, head-free kit, whatever it's called, you know what I mean, separation kit. Ah, oh, what a nightmare. We're going to fit a Yaesu 891, if I can find it. Here it is, down here on the... Uh, on the sofa of radios there's a what have we got here let's have a quick look so we've got a uh, 891 Hermes Light 2 Yesu whatever that is 2980 2 meter FM um, 7300 <laughs> and loads of other bits and bobs so there this is where I chuck things but I don't need them. Oh, there's a camera without a lens cap on it. Well done, Stu. Where's the lens cap? Must be, there it is. Right, we'll put that back later. Uh, so yeah, anyway, gizmos, what do we need? What do we need? 